how to lose weight fast in just three steps without exercise. What are the most weight loss friendly or the best fat burning foods? What is the appropriate or ideal body weight? How much weight loss is desirable per week? What is the role of fasting with the weight loss? Here I take you through all the answers you need to know about the weight loss. And for more such videos, please subscribe to my channel and be a part of my YouTube family. What is the appropriate body weight? According to the National Institute of the Health, body mass index is a common tool for deciding whether a person has a right body weight. It is calculated by dividing a person's weight in kg by the square of the height in meters. You can also use body mass index calculators from the internet at age. Once you have calculated, if your body mass index comes between 18.5 to 24.9, you fall within the normal or healthy weight trends. If it's less than 18.5, you are underweight. If it's more than or equal to 25, you are overweight. And if it is more than or equal to 30, you are considered obese. This way, you can find your ideal body weight. Now calculate your ideal body weight and find out how much weight loss is required. I suppose you have now calculated your ideal body weight. Let's move on to the next question. How much weight loss is desirable? You see many luring advertisements in the internet asking you to lose a lot of kg or pounds in a week. And note this, this is not appropriate, this is not desirable. The National Health Service, a healthcare system in England, recommends that you aim to lose no more than 2 pounds or 1 kg per week. And more than that, and you risk burning out and giving up. Hence the saying, slow and steady wins the race. What are the three steps to lose weight fast without exercise? Number one, cut back on carbs or carbohydrates. The most important part is that to cut back on sugars and starches or carbohydrates. When you do that, your hunger level goes down and you generally end up eating significantly fewer calories. Instead of burning carbs for the energy, your body now starts burning stored fat for energy. The another benefit of cutting carbs is that it lowers insulin level, causing kidneys to shed excess sodium and water. This reduces bloating and unnecessary water weight. This way, you may lose up to 10 pounds or 4.5 kg in the first week itself. Research suggests that a low-carb diet can reduce appetite which may lead you to eat fewer calories without thinking about it or feeling hungry. Number 2. Eat proteins, healthy fats and vegetables. Each one of your meals should include a protein source, fat source and a low-carbohydrate vegetables. As a general rule, try eating 2-3 to three meals per day. If you find yourself hungry in the afternoon, eat a fourth meal. Constructing your meals in this way should bring your carbs intake down to around 20 to 50 grams per day. Proteins Eating plenty of protein is an essential part of this plan. Eating a lot of protein may boost the calorie expenditure by 80 to 100 calories per day. This diet also reduces the cravings and obsessive thoughts about food by 60%. This reduces the desire to snack late at night by half and make you feel full. The sources of the protein includes chicken, pork, beef or lamb meat or fishes or seafood like salmon, trout or shrimp, whole eggs with yolk and plant-based protein sources like beans, legumes and soy. Healthy fats The healthy fats are monosaturated and polyunsaturated fatty acids. Don't be afraid of eating fats. The proteins and the healthy fats promote more stable blood glucose level keeping you fuller and incredibly satisfying across a time period and less likely to crave sugars or overeat. So these are the kinds of food you should get the majority of your calories from. The sources of the healthy fats include olive oil, coconut oil, avocado oil or butter. Low carb vegetables Load your food plate with plenty of the low carb vegetables. They are packed with nutrients and you can eat very large amount without going over 20 to 50 net carbohydrates per day. The good news is a diet based mostly on the lean protein sources and vegetables contains all the fibers, vitamins and minerals you need to be healthy. Many vegetables are low in carbohydrates including the broccoli, cauliflower, spinach, 
tomatoes, cabbage, lettuce, cucumber, and others. The third and the last point is intermittent fasting. This involves regular short-term fast and consuming meals within a shorter time period during the day. Several studies have indicated that short-term intermittent fasting, which is up to 24 weeks in duration, that's around 6 months, leads to weight loss in overweight patients. The most common intermittent fasting methods include alternate day fasting. It means fast every other day and eat normally on non-fasting days. The modified version involves eating just 25 to 35 percent of body's energy needs on fasting days. The 5 is to 2 diet. It means fast on 2 out of every 7 days. On fasting day, eat 500 to 600 calories. The next method is the 16 by 18 method. It means fast for 16 hours and eat only during an 8 hour window. For most people, 8 hour window will be around noon to 8 pm. Eating during a restricted period results in consuming lower calories and losing weight. Along with the above measures, don't forget to drink plenty of water. It's also important to track your diet. Log every item that you consume in either journal or an online food tracker. For your convenience, I've attached a file mentioning the calories of the food that we usually take in the description part. I hope this video helped you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay connected.